Welcome back. Agent Zero has received an update yesterday. The current version is 0.8.2 and there are three new features that I will present today. So if you are interested in this project, you can join us on our Discord or school community. And now we also have official X account and Warpcast account. All the links are also in the description of this video. Agent Zero is a completely free and open source project, so feel free to use it for whatever you want and make sure you watch other tutorials and videos on this channel. Now for the updates, the first new feature is the use of vision. I can provide images to my model or agent and ask it what do they have in common. Now the agent will use the vision tool which will extract visual information from images and provide it in a format that the large language model can understand. Then the large language model can natively process these images and give me the information. So the common pattern in these three images is clear blue skies, outdoor activities, elevation changes, natural landscapes, seasonal contrast. All right. For the vision tool to be available to your agent, you first need to enable it in the settings. In chat model section, there's a switch supports vision. Not all models support vision. Cloud models, Gemini models from Google or GPT models from OpenAI, they all support vision. So it will depend on your model. If you try to use this with uh, DeepSeek or other models that don't support vision, they will just hallucinate some information. So be careful. Most LLMs, if they cannot properly process the image, they will just make up something. Now, if I turn the vision off and I give another image to the same model and ask it to analyze it, it will not be able to use the vision tool. So it will use probably some sort of OCR to extract the text from the image. Okay, so now it checks whether it's installed. Okay, and now it prints the text. So, because there's some text in this image, the model was able to get some information out of it, but it will not be able to actually see the image. So, it will not be able to reason about the contents of the image. It will just see the outputted text. All right, and now I have a description. This image appears to be a screenshot of a social media profile or channel page. That is correct, but it is only based on the text extracted from the image. If I gave it another image, something like a robot, it will not be able to do much without the vision tool. All right, so, so far it was able to extract some information uh, about the color ratios and the size of the image, etc. Now it tries to install TensorFlow and it will probably it will probably try to do some AI magic on it uh, on its own in the Linux environment, but I will not wait for this. The second new feature are terminal sessions, which is basically multitasking for the agent. Let me demonstrate by telling the agent start Python hello world web server. So now the agent will start a Python web server in the terminal session. The server should respond to any request with a hello world text. And now I can tell the agent, try it in another terminal. So previously, the agent had only access to one terminal session, so it wasn't able to run something that runs infinitely. Now it can use the session parameter and do a curl and get the response in another terminal session. This will be especially useful when something takes a long time to complete or runs infinitely, like the web server, so the agent can now run the server in one window, develop something in another terminal window, or if it has some process that requires running in parallel, it can now do it and still use the terminal in a third window, etc. 
Also because of the updated prompts, the agent now has a better understanding of how these terminals work. So when I tell him stop the server, it should be able to reset the session number zero, which basically kills the Python process. The third feature implemented is a quality of life improvement. You may have already noticed that these chats are being renamed automatically. We use the utility model for that at every conversation end when the agent responds and it reacts to changes in topics inside the conversation. So if I now continue in this web server thread telling the agent, tell me a joke, it will respond with a joke and automatically update the chat topic in the background. It's a very common feature among AI chatting apps that makes life much easier when searching for something in chats. To install and run Agent Zero, you can find help on the web or on GitHub. But basically what you need to do is use Docker Desktop or other Docker Runtime and search for the image Agent Zero Run in the latest version or the version 0.8.2 specifically. You pull and run the container. All you need to do is have a web port open. And it will start the container for you. Then the first thing you want to do is provide API keys for your models or change your model configuration to some of the local options and run your models locally. I would recommend anyone using OpenRouter because on OpenRouter you get access to all the cloud models, GPT models, Gemini, DeepSeek. You get everything in one API key. You get multiple providers for each. There's a lot of free models as well. So you, you can choose your speed, you can choose your price, you can choose your model very easily. For the next version 083, the main feature will be the scheduling system. The agent will then be able to schedule tasks in the future, even recurring tasks. So it can plan ahead and check your news every morning or provide regular maintenance, etc. This will be a feature that will unlock a lot of potential in the daily use of Agent Zero. As always, big thanks goes to the community and all the contributors. If you find this project interesting, join us on one of the social networks and stay tuned for more updates.